everybody, this is Alchemist 2, and I'm back again with another book review. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Sorry, my 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 uh, brain often moves faster than my tongue, and I, my tongue can't keep up. But anyway, I recently read the third book in the Bailey Flanagan series, which is called um, Longing. And there were some areas in the in the book that were really challenging for me, very trying and uh, sorrowful just tragic. Uh, one of them involving Cody, and I'm not going to say what, what that was, it just, it just seemed sort of cruel and unexpected, but having gone through a situation that's similar, I'd have to say that life can be that way, and he actually um, meets the challenge well, he, he he leans on somebody else to help him through it, and he also prays to God, <clears throat> and it, God pulls him through it. But I'm not going to say what happens because, excuse me, because it's uh, it's very heartrending and it's poignant, and uh, things like that are are sort of challenging to read, especially when you've been through them yourself, and uh, it kind of brings up kind of uh, fresh wounds that you've experienced in, in that, although mine were relatively pleasant in comparison. Um, I have to say that I really did enjoy the book. It's, it's um, wonderfully written spectacularly so in, in, in fact. I, I really do think that Karen has the gift of the Midas touch when it comes to writing. I know I've said that before and I probably sound like a broken record repeating it. Um, <clears throat> this is just another example of just how exemplary her writing style is. And you are you really feel for for Bailey and her confusion and I think a lot of us have been where Bailey is I know personally I have gone through what she's gone through in fact I'm going through a little bit of that right now <laughs> and it's really irritating annoying confusing convoluting labyrinthine and just plain frustrating point blank. Okay, I just laid that on the table. <laughs> Had to do it. it. It felt good to get off my chest. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to become a little bit uh, ranty, but uh, I got a lot on my plate right now. Um, well, not really. I mean, I guess in, in that aspect of my life, yeah, I do have a lot on my plate, but on other in other areas of my life, no, my, my life is pretty... It's good, and it's... Uh, I can't complain, and I'm getting off track. Excuse me. I, I shouldn't do that. Uh, anyway, the, the book picks up where uh, <coughs> Longing left off, and you still have the uh, love octagon. You've got uh, Cody, Bailey, Brandon, and uh, Cheyenne. And I'm not going to give anything away, but there is a tragic incident involving uh, Cody. And I, I won't go much further than that, or I'll blow a huge plot point and I no. As a as a person, an avid reader, I can't possibly do that to other fans of this series. And uh, the last book, Loving, which will complete the Bailey Flanagan series, it'll come out in March. I don't know why we have to wait that long for it, but this this was um an enjoyable read, but there were parts of it where I was kinda of cringing because I knew exactly how how Bailey felt and just how muddied her thought process was and just how um, uncomfortable it must have been for her just to feel like a push me pull me and it's um, it's really not that pleasant you think that it would be it's it's not don't let anybody tell you it is because it isn't <laughs> take my word for it it's not um, <laughs> If anything, it just puts more stress on you, and you're going to get more wrinkles, and you're you're going to get 
you'll get heart troubles and everything is going to go south all at once and you want to kill yourself it's, it's that bad unfortunately she doesn't go through that she she finds herself in a um, a situation where she can use her abilities to um, assist teenagers and um, and help them with their problems and actually her character reminds me of a, um, a friend of mine who is a, a youth minister and uh, he I don't know what it is about him but he just he has such an amazing gift he, he truly is a remarkable human being and he knows exactly what to say and he does it at precisely the right time and um, in accordance to this book you get to see the grace of, of God and, and what he plans for um, just the different characters and I'm really interested and eager to see how the whole series is going to come to an end because it, it didn't pan out the way I thought it would of course I I had always um, I had always hoped that a couple of characters I really liked would be together because I just felt that they were more compatible and it it just didn't happen in the way that I I thought it would and I'm actually leaning toward um, a different pairing than I would in the beginning, which I, I, I never really thought I would do that, but it just, uh, the way that they describe, the way that she describes uh, this uh, particular dynamic, I'm not going to say which one it is, but if you've read the series, you know what I'm talking about. It just seems that she's a lot happier, she just seems to connect so much better, and she seems to, to be, she has joy she um, she realizes uh, that they have chemistry and it's it's more than just um, something that comes from a tingly feeling it's it's beyond that that the love itself is more than just chemistry it's it's more than just butterflies it's more than that it's it's a connection and it is a, an understanding that two people share that even um, transcends this and even there are people that have a telepathic bond and my mom and my dad they had that and I know a lot of people look at me and say you are insane alchemist do but I'm not because I, I can tell you I saw this with my own two eyes and I even had uh, that bond with my with my mother and I have it with my dad but um, it's it's really devastating when you can just feel that link dissolving because you know that you're never going to get it back however the spirit world is an interesting thing because you never know uh, what can happen in that and, and <laughs> I can vouch for that from experience and so I know a lot of people out there a lot of my viewers are gonna say you're crazy but you gotta have an open mind to these things because uh, uh, despite the fact I, I am a scientist in my heart of hearts yes that's true I, I do believe in empirical proof and quantifiable uh, measurable <laughs> elements uh, that we can grasp and understand and calculate however just like with uh, Bailey uh, there are things that happen in this world that I consider miracles there are miracles in the world and, and she does experience that in, in her story and this this is a good example of that and I experience that every day to be honest with you and um, as a uh, nutty as it sounds I know my mom's around I know she's in a better place but she, she comes and she visits me because uh, I, have, I feel a little bit of cold in my room when she comes to say hello and I can feel her messing with my hair <laughs> and it's it's so funny um, she wouldn't let me touch her hair and, and when she was alive but yeah she can touch my hair all she wants so injustice well it's getting it's not I don't mind she knows she knows but 
excuse me, I'm really itchy, but as far as uh, the books are concerned and, and the, um, the Beverly Flanagan series, I, I think that this is probably the best of the, the, the quatrology. <laughs> and um, like I said, I am very um, excited to see what will um, what will occur, how everything will culminate in the final volume. So, gotta wait until March, but yeah, something to look forward to.